Season 2, Episode 12. Brought to you with the Adventure Spec Magadan Panniers. To see more of Lyndon's thoughts on the Adventure Spec Magadan Panniers, click on the link in the description below. Last time on Races to Places, Lyndon and Lucas arrived in Mongolia. Under the stars, Lyndon and Lucas are up early on the trail. Passing through a town, they meet two guys travelling renegade in an ambulance. Two Germans also on the way to Ulaanbaatar. So we're just in Mongolia and uh, we met two guys from Germany, yeah? Who are you? Uh, I'm Max. Hi, uh, people of... Where are you from? I'm from England. England hey, people of England, I'm very sorry for, you know, World Cup. We don't want to talk about it. But, no. Um, you are taking the asphalt road. Yes. Well, it's not really asphalt, but... In case something happens to you guys, you can always call us up. We exchange numbers, <laughs> uh, so we, you know, we have one spare seat in the back. It's so we know. It's a little bit bumpy. If um, Lucas or I need an ambulance, we have an ambulance on the, on the route exactly. to Alambatar yeah. somewhere. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of writing on the side. So we did our own. Uh, I did our own bit of graffiti on the uh, ambulance. Races to places.com. Back on the trail again, but it's not long before the boys find some locals to have a chat with. Stop to check the oil on the bikes, and when you stop anywhere where there's uh, livestock, like behind me, you usually get some uh, some locals stop in to have a look at the moto. So these two fellas stopped and uh, on this Benny, uh, Benny, <laughs> the Benny, Super Benny, super super little bit of difference in uh, size between. Bikes, as you can see. Seems this gentleman uh, is impressed with the girth uh, uh, of Basil's uh, fork legs. And the super bunny. <laughs> <laughs> it's little, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh. <laughs> he loves it, he loves it. Where's this guy going? I want a wheelie, wheelie. wheelie. Ready? We're gonna get a wheelie. Wheelie! No wheelie from the super venue. If a day goes by where Lyndon doesn't get to spin the spanners on Basil, I think he gets withdrawal symptoms. Luckily, today, Basil requires some fettling. Do a little bit of maintenance, really. My rear brake pads, uh, the rear brake pads are almost down to the metal. So, uh, I thought I would stop and do a bit of maintenance, so check the oil. It's just the chain. May as well do the rear brake pads while I'm here. I just wanted to do a very quick review of how the Golden Tire 723 rears and 216 fronts are doing. 2,000 miles. And look, it's still 50% good. And I don't ride slow. I mean, I, you know, I get the hammer down. Um, I like to ride fast and I like to stay focused. Currently in Mongolia, put these tires on in the Altai region of Russia. Uh, just as we crossed the border from Kazakhstan. Um, I put it on at about 13,800, we're at uh, 15,700 now. So 2,000 miles, that's over 3,000 kilometers, and it's still really good. Uh, in terms of traction, really impressed with it. 
much better than the sort of really hard compound tyres that you can get, like off-road tyres that are generally pretty cheap tyres, uh, really skittery and skatey on the highway when it's wet. I have to say, this is very soft and playable and it's a really good tyre. I've used Michelin for a long, long time, for many years, and now I'm using these golden tyres and I have to say, honestly, I don't notice much difference, if at all, between the Michelin Deserts and the Golden Tyre Deserts. Really good tyre, really happy with it, um, and I'm going to use them right across to Magadan, right the way across Siberia. This is the front tyre, um, not probably wearing as good as the back tyre, which is really surprising on a set of tyres, but at least you know you can change both tyres at the same time, which is exactly what I'll be doing. Just put a fresh set on, when the back one's gone or the front one's done, put a fresh set on, good to go. I think I'll be getting around about 4,000 miles, if not 5,000 miles out of these tyres, which to be honest, I, you know, it's, it's pretty impressive. I, I think I only got like 8,000 miles out of the 201s um, that I was using, so for a knobbly tyre, 216 Desert and the 723 Rear Desert, really good choice for me. I'll be using them for this sort of long distance riding again. It's super windy up here, so I'm not sure if you can hear me very well, but I just climbed to the top of this mound here so I could take some video of the Great White Lake here as I ride along the north side of it in Mongolia. Pretty much just checked the email for the first time since we got in Mongolia and discovered that I've been accepted for the International Rally of Mongolia 2014. Basically it starts in 15 days time uh, and we've got 3,000 kilometers to ride to get from the border across to Ulan Bator. Uh, across all kinds of terrain, it's all off-road, we've chosen a completely 100% off-road track to get across to Ulan Bator. So we've probably got like 10 days to do 3,000 kilometers and there's some pretty serious riding. So as Lyndon says, he has only 10 days to get to Rally Mongolia. And with a totally off-road route from Walter, it looks like he has his work cut out. We'll end this episode with Lyndon riding through some lovely forest trails. here that looks like a city motorcycle boot maybe there's a rider stuck here as well what happened here Lucas I think just enjoying a good mud bath riding riding my bike down these trails and ah, getting stuck a little bit as you can your see. bike looks a little bit muddy are you gonna try and get out um, I think so should be able to do it I hope let's give it a shot Next time on Races to Places, the dynamic duo arrive in Ulaanbaatar. <laughs> Episode 12 marks the end of Season 2 of Races to Places. So thank you to everyone who has supported us. Without the views, there would be no episodes. Like, share, subscribe and please tell all your friends to do the same, so that we can keep sharing Lyndon's amazing trips with you. We'll be back in the new year with Season 3. But, as a Christmas special, we'll be releasing a one-off New Year's Day feature-length episode telling the story of Lyndon's attempt to win Rally Mongolia. Have a great Christmas. We hope to see you all fit and well for Season 3, where Lyndon tackles the Road of Bones and the rarely ridden Summer Road in a bid to reach Magadan. Ride safe. <laughs>